The most effective punch in boxing is the jab. From an orthodox position, it's a left jab. From a southpaw, it's the right jab. That is the most effective punch in boxing. Fights can be won with a jab. You can knock your opponent down with a jab. But there's another very, very good punch today, and I'm going to tell you today. A great punch that boxers don't use anymore today. And it works 100%. It's called the shoulder punch. Now you never heard of the shoulder punch. When you hit a boxer on the shoulder, right on the on the on the tip of the shoulder, where that bony muscular part is, you hit the boxer there, you hit your opponent there a few times, every round, eventually he will not be able to pick up his hand. If he, he walks in there, the more you hit him on his shoulder, the the, the more his hand's gonna drop. And I'll tell you what. In 1994, I had a very good coach. He taught me, he taught me the shoulder punch and how to punch the shoulder to to, 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 to throw it. You know, basically it's a jab, jab, straight right, or you could step with a hook, right hook, left hook, doesn't matter. As long as you target that shoulder, and you're not. It's it's such an effective punch, guys. Let, let me tell you a little story. He taught me this punch in 1994-95 and I'll never forget it but the mistake I made in my career I never I never I never tried that punch in, in a fight or in sparring you know you're young you think about other things you want to beat him on point or you want to knock him out you don't think about these things you know I should have done it anyway fast forward from 1995 until 2000 and Three. I was in Denmark sparring against the world champion, former world champion, Mikael Kessler. He's a great boxer, this guy. I sparred about 200 rounds with him over the period of four or five weeks. And our sparring sessions were very close. I'm not, you can ask uh, the promoter, Mo, Mo, I think it's Morgan Spalle. You can ask his daughter, you can ask the people who work for him. Our sparring sessions were close, very close. You couldn't separate us. He had the better of me, I had the better of him the next day. He hit me with a few shots, I came back the next day and I hit him with a few shots. And that's how it was the sparring. We, we, he was, he's such a good, uh, good fighter. But I don't know if he's still boxing. Anyway, the first, the first time I sparred him, the very first time. Now, take note, I wasn't in training for a fight. I was just cruising along and running a bit and doing my own training because I didn't have a license. The corrupt British Boxing Board of Control took away my license illegally. Anyway, I, I sparred against Kessler. Now Kessler sparred in a small ring. It's about three meter by four meter, uh, not even four meter. Yeah, three, three by four meter, rec it's like a rectangular, if, if I'm not mistaken, that's the right word. Very small ring, but anyway, he was one of the best fighters ever uh, in the Super Middleweight division, and, he, and and also coming out of Denmark. So the first the first time I was sparring, I'm just going along in the motions, and I'm against the ropes because normally I'm not I'm not I don't stay away from the ropes. But as I said, I wasn't in training for a fight. I was just anyway. Let's listen to this. Listen to this lesson I learned. I was against the ropes like that, standing like that, covering up, you know. He hit me with a one-two, left, right, there. His right hand connected on my shoulder. I didn't feel a thing. The second right hand, about two seconds later, he hit another straight right, boom, on my shoulder. I said, whoa. I was like, I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, whoa. Oh, yeah, my hand. I was in pain. I couldn't lift up my arm like this. I, I swear I couldn't lift up my arm. I, I, had, to stop the, I had to stop the sparring there and then. And, I, and they took me to the doctor and he gave me some injection uh, I don't know, Voltaren or some injection and two days later I was back in sparring and lesson learned I never went on the ropes again and it reminded me, you know what Mikael Kessler is the only boxer I've sparred with or boxed with or whatever he's the only boxer in my whole career that has hit me deliberately on my shoulder he he targeted the shoulder, he went for that shoulder. That tells me, okay, I, 
I respect that man so much for doing that. You know what? I've got nothing but respect for him. He's the only one who can hit me on my shoulder. And, and my coach in South Africa, when I was 14 or 15 years old, taught me the very same punch. And since then, 1995, 94, I never ever seen anybody do it or tell me about it. And that's just this little story I thought I'd share with you guys. You know, if you're watching, if you're a boxer or if you're a trainer, teach your boxers the shoulder punch. Let them target the shoulder. <laughs> Even if you target the arm, that doesn't matter the arm. The arm is also, it's also effective. If you hit someone on the arm there, or the shoulder, even better. But try that punch, guys. Try the punch. Let me know how you get on, please. And thank you very much for watching. Catch you again. Cheers.